Hi, I'm Jeanette and this is York and today we are reviewing the Ghoulie Ghoulie, a dummy or a pacifier and plush toy comforter all in one. Now we do have one of these for giveaway over on the babymusthaves.net Facebook page so make sure you head on over there, give us a like and um, be in it to win it. So York here has got his little Bluey the Wombat um, plush Ghoulie Ghoulie but they come in two other cute little Australian animals. So you can see here the koala and also the kangaroo. And essentially it's a high quality silicon dummy attached to a soft plush animal so that it's really easy for Bub to find in the cot, in the pram, in the car seat. Um, but it's also, you know, the soothing effect of the dummy and the comforting toy. It's his, you know, it's his little friend. So. York has had his Ghoulie Ghoulie for about five days now and he absolutely loves it. And I'm going to put up some images and some video of it um, in use in the cot and in the car, which has been fantastic because I've found I can just reach back and find the dummy pretty easily if it's fallen out and if he needs um, comforting in the car. York is uh, nearly five months old um, and he still spits the dummy <laughs> quite literally every now and again, but then finds it hard to get the dummy and put it back in his mouth. But this Ghoulie Ghoulie has really helped him with that. And at night he can um, cuddle it as well. So it's absolutely lovely and very cute to watch. I'm just going to show you his dummies that he originally had. These are dummies from the hospital who was in the neonate ward. And this is the dummy that they use in hospitals all over Australia. It's got a special teat that you can see there that is supposed to really closely replicate the human nipple. And he hasn't been interested in any other dummies, only these. So we actually had to go back to the hospital and um, buy some more of these when we brought him home. But that is also, can I just have this for a minute, dude? That is also the sort of teat that they use on the Ghoulie Ghoulie. So, it's a high quality um, silicon dummy and the whole product meets all of the mandatory Australian standards and altogether it weighs 38 grams so easy for Bub to manoeuvre um, and it's securely attached so they don't actually come apart at all so there's no risk of that and you don't have to worry about cords or clips chains, um, any of those other sorts of contraptions that we use to keep dummies close by. This still has the freedom, but easy for the bubbies to grab. The product is recommended for naught to six month olds. And can I say it has just been an absolute godsend for us. Um, I've lost count of the number of times I was having to get up through the night and replace his dummy. It's absolutely reduced the number of times that I have to do that overnight. And in the car travelling, it makes it much, much easier to reach back, find the dummy if it's fallen out and he's screaming and um, help him pop it back in his mouth. Now the one thing I will say is that because the dummy and the plush toy are permanently attached, they don't come apart, I was a bit concerned about how I was going to wash and sterilise the product. The instructions that came with it suggest just holding the dummy section in the boiling water for five minutes um, after you give it a bit of a wash. But what I actually did was wash the end with soapy water and then I just stuck the whole thing on the top rack of our steam steriliser that we use in the microwave. So I've been able to do that a couple of times and it stands up really well. And so I'm confidently um, disinfecting and cleaning the dummy and the plush toy as well. And as you can see, it's not just the dummy end that he likes sucking. He likes sucking on the soft uh, fabric too. So the product is BPA free. So you don't have to worry about um, the chemicals or plastics or anything like that because it is just a silicone dummy. And it came packaged in this box here. So let me just show you. It was um, inside this box, so quite nicely packaged. 
if you wanted to buy it for a gift or someone it makes it ideal and actually it would be a really nice gift if you've got friends overseas because they are the classic Australian animals and they've even got little Australian flags embroidered onto the feet there. It would be a lovely gift for um, friends that are having babies overseas. You can head over to Gooly Gooly, so that's G-O-O-L-I-E, G-O-O-L-I-E dot com dot au to find out where you can get a Gooly Gooly of your own. Thanks. Thank you.